Are you looking for a data visualization tool that will allow you to display a map and superimpose different levels of information on top, like people's incomes or their spanning patterns, in addition to locating businesses on that map? Well, I have just the tool for you. It's called Simply Maps Canada, and here's a short video giving you an example of how it could be useful. So I have here Simply Map, and I'm going to click through. I have to log in with my my net name and password from the My Concordia portal. And here we go. Now, when you get in, you don't have to sign in with an account. You could just go in as a guest. You won't be able to save your searches, but just so you know, you don't have to sign in with an account. Just use a guest. So let's say I'm starting a pet store and I want to locate on my map the different pet stores in Montreal, but I also want to have a color density showing me the average spending on pets. Okay, wouldn't that be awesome to see where maybe there's an unexploited market somewhere in the greater Montreal area where I could start my pet store? Let's do that right now. Okay, so as it says here, I have to start here, go to the left, and first I'm going to select my variable. In this case, I want to look at household spending for 2011, right? And I have here under household operation, I could find pet expenses. Now I kind of knew it was there, so it was pretty quick, but, uh, and I've done this before, but you guys uh, can poke around and look at the different listing here. You have tons of really interesting demographics that you could use to add to your map. But in this case, I'm just gonna go here under pet expenses and I'm gonna use this variable, okay? So I have pet expenses as my color density. Then I have to tell the system which location I want to use. And in this case, I want to have the census metropolitan area for Montreal. So I'm going to drill down to Montreal CMA, census metropolitan area. Here is Montreal, and I'm going to use this location. Then I have to add the businesses that I want, right? So if I say here, find businesses, I could tell the system which primary North American industry classi classification system, Nike's code. I have a whole video explaining the North American industry classification system. I'll let you watch that. But for now, I just know that my pet stores contain 45391. That's the name of, uh, that's the number for pet stores, the North American industry classification system code. And I'm gonna name this search the pet store pet stores. And of course, you do have to give it a name so that it allows you to show results, right? And here, lo and behold, is the um, color density map for the greater Montreal area with my pet stores. Now, actually, one thing that I could do, which is really cool, is I can zone in, right? Using the little plus or minus, right? See here how you have the bar. If you zoom out, I don't want it to be too close. And actually, let me play with that. So again here, let's focus here. I'm on the West Island. And notice how you have the color density for the spending, right? So dark uh, red-ish or, or brown, dark brown is from $665 to $4,000 a year. That's the average spending. And you could see where the businesses are located, right? These numbers, you can hover your cursor and you have the different businesses that are located, right? So that's really interesting because I see here uh, where according to the data in the system. Now, if you're wondering what data this is pulling from, this is actually the Dun & Bradstreet company file that it is superimposed on this map, right? So if you know, uh, I also have a video about the Dun & Bradstreet system that you can watch. If you've looked at the list and you've walked around the neighborhoods and you know the data is complete, this is actually a really powerful tool to visualize different data elements within and especially for companies, right? So you can see here that why is there no companies in this 
more in this darker area what's going on well actually the vaudrey area has has had a lot of growth uh, recently, so maybe households are are getting uh, are, are are establishing themselves there, and there's no stores to meet the demand that people have. Again, here, notice this darker area right here with no stores. If I zoom into that, you could see that there's a little cluster of households that are spending more on their pets than the surrounding area, and there doesn't seem to be any uh, any stores to cater to them. Again, here, same thing. Of course, we're probably getting to more agricultural areas here. We're a little far from downtown if that's where you live. But again, you can use this tool to visualize market potentials. And sometimes the market potential isn't necessarily in the downtown area because the, that's a pretty dense cluster and there's a lot of competition there. Maybe sometimes you want to browse out and look at other areas. This is a really wonderful tool that you could use. And again, you could browse down to the very street level right and actually this is pretty fun to look for a job let's say you're interested in a specific field well you could pull up the map of where the companies are to see if it fits with uh, your you know your commute time or whatever anyways that's just giving you a quick take at simply map canada and the power it can bring of visualizing data on a map and you could totally export this and uh, see here under actions, you can export this file and use it in your paper. And remember to quote to say that it's from Simply Map Canada.